So what's this whole thing about picking a niche, right? Like, do you go general? Do you do niche? Is it niche? Niche? Niches? <laughs> uh, for those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez. And if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM. Hit that subscribe button. Now, to kind of get started, I did have a you know long weekend. I actually attended again. You guys saw my last video, Ty Lopez's event. Got to speak there. That was absolutely incredible. And also, me and my business partner Samir had our first live event, the Secure the Bag Summit. So anybody that's watching that came to the event, shout out to you guys. Hope you guys had a good time, and you know, obviously, see you guys in the next one. To kind of get started, when it comes to deciding on whether you start with the general store or whether you start start with the niche store, for anyone that's just getting started. I'd recommend for you to start off with a general store just because you can test a lot more products. You know, start actually doing a lot more testing than you'd originally be able to do with the niche store. With the niche store, if you start off with the niche store and you do no research, you're limited on how much testing you can do. So for anyone just getting started, I'd recommend a general store. You can start off with the niche store and I actually would recommend for you, start off, for you to start off with the niche store as long as you have the research process behind picking that niche. If you already have a store up and running, if you wanna get into a niche store, there should be a process that you're going through when deciding on what niche you should actually start to go after, right? And some of the things, there's a couple things I want you guys to consider when first getting started into deciding what niche to get into. And the first thing is, you know, who's into the kind of products that you wanna sell, right? Is it males or is it females? Obviously, there's specific products that are suitable for males and specific product, products that are suitable for females. Now, you wanna make sure you have that in mind because when you're deciding on what niche to go after, obviously you're gonna have either, either you're gonna go after specifically males or specifically females or maybe both. But that's gonna determine a lot of things later on, like how your store is laid out, you know, what kind of products you're selling and a whole lot more. So that's one of the first things you wanna keep in mind. The second one, you know, what kind of niches do you have to choose from? You wanna always have an idea and have a, an understanding of what kind of options you have available, right? So you have, you know, an idea of what kind of niches can I get into? And what I did is just kind of list some general niches that you guys can kind of keep in mind and that you can, you know, potentially think about getting into. And some of those niches are, you know, home goods, you know, outdoor products, pet products, health and beauty products, accessories, ETC. You have tons of different products and niches, right? That's the beauty about e-commerce, that it's a huge space that has thousands of products that you, know, you guys can consistently test and experiment with. One of the things that helped us a lot and helped me and my business partners me make a ton of money in Shopify dropshipping and still do up to date is the fact that we go after passion because people get emotionally attached to you know products and passions right so like people love like you know knitting people love their cats and these are things that you know people have an emotional connection to and when it comes down to people buying things online people buy off emotions that's a hundred percent of the time you know we buy things because of the way that we think it's going to make us feel even i do it that's just how we naturally are now i'm no psychologist it's just something that seems to work really well online there are niches with the niches now, for example what i mean by that is in your home goods niche you have uh, specifically, you can go after wall decor. That could be a specific niche. I know some of you guys may have seen Iconic, right? They sell like the huge posters that we have in my other setup in the living room that has like the secure the bag or the hustle. That's a specific niche within the home goods space, right? That they're selling home good products, but they have a niche within it. Another example is in the outdoor space, you have specifically the hiking niche, right? People that go hiking and different hiking products. If you guys are getting any value from this video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what your experience has been with, you know, finding a profitable niche, you know, starting with the general or which one has worked best for you. You want to figure out what products are selling within this niche. And the reason why you want to do that is you want to make sure you have tons of options for your store, right? You wouldn't want to be in a niche where you can only sell two to three products. Uh, one of the ways that I do is I check AliExpress the products and the number of orders each product has. That lets me see, okay what products are doing really well within this niche and what, what are the top selling products within this niche as well. Are there products that I can upsell and downsell? The reason why this is important is because, again, you guys know me, I'm really big on having not only a, a front end business where you're obviously bringing in customers to the door and having them make that initial purchase, but I'm also big on the back end of the business where you can then market to the same customers that I've already bought from you. I like to go after products that have multiple related products and congruent products 
Uh, that way I can always upsell and downsell customers to increase my average order value and obviously just bring in more sales and have more options for the customers. This is crucial because it brings in that back-end revenue. Again, you guys, if you haven't seen my video on the 2018 strategy for Shopify dropshipping and why you should be focused on the back-end, you, know, you guys are missing out, so make sure you check it out. Having different products you can upsell and downsell is congruent to how much potential sales you can always make You know, within that specific niche. That's pretty much everything that I had for you guys again if you're gonna for anyone just getting started if you really have no idea what you get into and you just get overwhelmed again start with general because you can test you know a lot more for anyone that's a lot more maybe you're already advanced or you're already doing it and you already have a general store maybe you already have a niche store but how can you get into another niche you know doing the research on the niche before making sure you're going through all these different things that I kind of lined out for you guys I hope you guys got value from this video if you did again make sure you leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the process that I have down as far as, you know, when it comes time to get deciding on what niche to get into. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.